We are in the springtime of man's knowledge. And there is a wonderful summer ahead. It may seem that science and learning are old. And it's true, they are. But we have barely scratched the surface in our search for knowledge. Man has lived on this planet for a half million years, more or less. Science, the organized search for knowledge, has existed for only a couple of thousand years. We still have a lot to learn. In order to learn, we must observe. To study action that happens in a fraction of a second, we can use a special camera. The microscope lets us study things much smaller than our eyes alone can see. The telescope lets us look all the way to the stars. What about things we can't see at all, like heat, magnetism, weight, gravity, electricity, and the atom? compass measures magnetism, the thermometer measures heat, the scale can measure weight or gravity, a meter measures the steady flow of electricity. But when we need rapid and exact measurements of changing things, a better tool is required. The cathode ray oscilloscope is such a tool. The oscilloscope makes it possible to see electrical changes as they happen. It can show us a picture of some electrical change or happening, even if it occurs only once and lasts not more than one billionth of a second. Today, the oscilloscope is one of the most important instruments used by engineers, physicists, biologists, and many other scientific and technical people. The oscilloscope gives us information in the form of a picture or graph drawn by a moving dot of light on the screen. The oscilloscope normally shows the amount of electrical signal or event as an up and down motion of the dot of light. Is the signal large or small? The movement of the dot from left to right can take anywhere from many seconds to a fraction of a millionth of one second, just as the oscilloscope operator chooses. This movement is called the time base. If we know how long it takes for the spot to cross the screen and then measure the amount of change up and down, we get a clearer understanding of whatever it is we're measuring. The spot of light moving across the stream tells us how much of a change is happening and how long it lasts. Now, these are vital factors in the study of any event. The movement of the spot up and down is dependent on the electrical charges fed into the oscilloscope. Here, positive or plus voltage moves the spot up. Negative or minus voltage moves the spot down. The oscilloscope displays the change whether it is slow or rapid. Color television broadcasting relies upon the oscilloscope to watch and measure fast-changing electrical currents generated by TV cameras and transmitting equipment. In this way, oscilloscopes help make sure the picture on your TV set is sharp and clear.
computers have changed our lives a great deal. Oscilloscopes are used extensively in designing, manufacturing, and testing these wonders of our age. Devices that change one form of energy into another form are called transducers. We use many types of transducers almost every day. A light bulb changes electrical energy into radiant energy, light. A loudspeaker changes electrical energy into sound waves. A generator changes mechanical motion into electrical energy. By using the proper transducer, we can change almost any energy into an electrical signal which can be displayed on an oscilloscope. Now, a microphone is one kind of transducer, changing sound into electrical energy. A phono pickup is also a transducer, changing mechanical movement into electrical signals. A photocell converts light into electrical energy. There are transducers that convert force into electrical energy, transducers that indicate temperature, that indicate rotation, that indicate gravity, that indicate current. There are transducers that will respond to almost any form of energy. Once we change whatever is happening into an electrical signal, we can draw a picture of it with an oscilloscope and accurately measure it. If we can see it and measure it, there's almost no limit to what we can learn from it. With an oscilloscope and the proper transducer, we can measure the power of huge generators. Or the energy of a light beam. An oscilloscope can be used in the tuning of the engine of a car. It can measure the thrust of a jet engine. The oscilloscope will display the sound of my voice as I speak in a soft or a loud tone. It shows a low tone or a high tone. Deaf children can see their own voices and compare the picture to that of a normal voice. It can teach the deaf to talk. Many important functions of the human body, heartbeat, blood pressure, and brain waves can be observed and studied by medical researchers. We can look forward to more marvels of man's ingenuity, marvels that would have staggered our parents' imaginations. Space explorations, medical progress on a grand scale, new and better products for our careers, our homes, and our leisure time. Scientific knowledge will grow at a much faster rate in the future than we can imagine today. Knowledge of our world, our universe, and ourselves. The summer of man's knowledge has barely begun. Wouldn't you like to be part of it in your lifetime? You can. You will. <laughs>